Hi, Chad here. Uh, I wanted to show you two new features with Jarvis, which is uh, QuickTime control and also to straight uh, downloading a file off the internet. So, uh, so I guess I'll show you QuickTime first. I'm going to send Jarvis a tweet uh, using my laptop here. And I'm going to tweet, I'm going to show you the, the command in a second. But I'm going to tweet to him, I'm going to say QuickTime and then a URL. Uh, for QuickTime, so it looks like this. So let me see here. You can see there, Project Jarvis at the very, at the very top there, QuickTime, um, and then that URL. So it actually supports using uh, short URLs like trim or tiny URL and those kind of things too. So I sent that command to it, and uh, it happened pretty quick, so you didn't see it happen at, in a live time, but you can see here uh, on the screen of my um, of Jarvis here that it's actually launched QuickTime and opened up um, one of the, UR the URL that I sent him, which is a movie. And um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send him another tweet uh, with my iPhone here. And I'm going to say, at Project Jarvis... Uh, quick time play so Jarva should receive a command to um, to play this quick time movie which it's doing right now apparently so I'm going to do the same thing But this time I'm going to tell him to, um, to, we'll say pause. I can do stop also, but I'll do, I'm going to do pause. Here we go. I sent the command for, uh, to pause, as you can see, let's see here. Let's look backwards, so let me tell. You can see right there at the top it says, uh, pause. You can see the play command also. So in a second it should uh, pause. So Jarvis checks for new tweets every 60 seconds. So it takes 60 seconds, at most uh, 60 seconds for Jarvis to register a command. And as you see, you just pause the video. Uh, so I'm going to show you the uh, download command now. So I'm just going to do it with uh, my keyboard because it's a lot easier to do it with that than with my iPhone. So I'm on Twitter. At Project Jarvis download and then a URL. And once again I can I can use um, I can use a uh, tiny URL or sh shortened URL supports that. And I'm gonna show you that URL in a second here. Or the um, command rather. And as you can see, let's see here. At Project Jarvis download and then the URL. And Jarvis should receive this command and within 60 seconds and go ahead and start to download this file which shouldn't take too long the file itself is only uh, 2.2 megabytes so it's not it doesn't take very long to download and as you can see uh, Jarvis twittered at the top there new download complete Hulu desktop.dmg, which is the file that I told it to download. So it, it actually tweets every time a new file has been downloaded, uh, downloaded automatically. So whenever a new file has been put into the uh, downloads folder, it'll tweet and, and say and, tw uh, and say a new file has been downloaded. And every time a file has been placed into the uh, vi the movies folder, the video folder, uh, which sometimes I download movies directly, directly to that folder, it says new video file has been downloaded, and it tweets that automatically. Um, so those are the two new features of uh, Project Jarvis.